Hi friends, today we are going to discuss evolution topic that is our module third. So my topic of discussion is altruism. So what exactly altruism is? It is a phenomena in which individual sacrificed uh, sacrificed its fitness value to increase the fitness of other individuals. Okay, so natural selection. it balances the cost and benefit of social behavior social behavior they include two partner one is donor and another is recipient so what exactly the altruism is so it is a behavior which benefits other and involve risk or cost to the individual displaying the behavior worker b examples so worker b die defending colony against attacking wasp never reproduce only looks after the colony Second example is vervet monkeys. Monkey give alarm calls when predator approaches. Alarm calls attract attention of predator, and other monkeys have more time to escape. So closer the genetic relationship, the less altruism involved. There will be more closeness. Okay, how much it is close, the less altruism is involved. So it benefits in. <coughs> <coughs> it benefits increase over time through several of genes shared with recipient and behavior might lead to an advantage for the individuals displaying behavior in the future so altruism or selflessness is the principle or practice of concern for the welfare of others it refers to the behavior by an individual that increase the fitness of another individual while decreasing the fitness of actor or you can say the benefit the cost they are both are involved and rb is greater than c means uh, benefit is more than cost always so altruism by definition it is the unselfish and unselfish act to better the well-being of other disregarding the well-being of self these include behaviors that are beneficial to other that show generous tendency kindness to others and helpfulness so what recent uh, ex- experimental researches has revealed that the form of the human behavior involving interactions among the unrelated individuals that have proven difficult to explain in terms of kin or reciprocal altruism okay so this is the mathematical approach all about the altruism formally the genes this is the genetics should increase in the frequency when rb is greater than c this is the main formula which we are use and the altruism topic we are using it is too much important r is the genetic relatedness of the recipient to the actor often defined as the probability that the gene picked randomly from each at the same locus is identical by the descent b is the additional reproductive benefit or benefit you can in say in one line gained by the recipient of altruistic act c is the reproductive cost to the individual performing the act this inequality is known as hamilton rules after w d hamilton who in 1964 published the first formal quantitative treatment of the kin selection okay what exactly the kin selection is what hamilton rule says i will discuss in later slides so inclusive fitness one more formula i have, I have given here rb is greater than rb minus c is greater than 0 so this is the table which shows the relationship and the genetic relatedness so what exactly the r value you will put in the numerical uh, all the numerical problems suppose benefit is given you have to calculate the cost r value you have to learn these values okay and relationship will be given in the question suppose the relationship will be of cousin relatedness means small r value will be 0.125 nephew niece grandparents half siblings small r that is genetic relatedness value will be 0.25 what exactly the relatedness value uh, in real brother sister or parents or daughter or parent or son or parents or offspring that is the 0.50 that is the small r benefit will be given you have to calculate cost either the cost is given or you have to calculate benefit so honey bee relatedness uh, will be 0.75 among the worker and the queen hymenoptera examples are it uh, doesn't exist in human beings uh, or uh, the male which are for now uh, which are produced from unfertilized egg you can say and what exactly the relationship between uh, identical twins that is a small r value will be 1 that is identical twins okay so you all have to learn this table very well because it will be very much helpful in numerical session and in all competitive exam numerical questions will come so what exactly the kin selection is 
It is the evolutionary strategy that favors the reproductive success of an organism's relatives even at a cost to the organism's own survival and reproduction. Kin altruism is altruistic behavior whose evolution is driven by kin selection. So what exactly is kin selection? You can say altruism or altruistic behavior it is based on the kin selection. Kin selection it says the genetic relatedness or the genetically related species means donor sacrifice its fitness value and benefit and the recipient will benefit definitely it will get benefit so kin selection it is an instance of inclusive fitness which combine the number of offspring produced with the number of individual can ensure the production of by supporting others such as siblings so altruistic behavior it increase the overall fitness of the population that is the inclusive fitness so inclusive fitness i already told one formula that is rb minus c is greater than 0 so altruism occur when value of inclusive fitness is positive so always remember this point altruism will occur when value of inclusive fitness that is rb minus c is more than 0 it will always be positive you can also say that r is more than c by b or rb is greater than c this is the key formula so what hamilton suggested According to Hamilton, main point is the benefit which is achieved by the recipient must be greater than the loss achieved by the donor. That is, RB, uh, RB is greater than C. So, kin selection causes genes to increase in the frequency when the genetic relatedness of the recipient to an actor multiplied by the benefit to the recipient is greater than the reproductive cost of the actor. So, the rule is difficult to test but studies of red squirrels appear to confirm it. Hamilton proposed two mechanisms for kin selection also. So, Hamilton suggested that always the benefit achieved by the recipient or you can say the recipient will achieve the benefit or will get the benefit and the donor it sacrifice its fitness value to increase the um, uh, to increase the benefit of the recipient so here it will be uh, benefit is always much greater than the loss of the achieved by the donor so it is all about the altruistic behavior it is too easy topic and so many question is always asked in many competitive exams so I hope you all have prepared very well and you all have understood this topic. If you feel any problem, you can write me in comment box. I will reply. Friends, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends, colleagues and teachers as more as possible. Thank you friends. We will meet soon.